my goodness. Good Gorgeous. afternoon. Good afternoon. Lovely to How see you. How are you all doing? Huh? How We're doing great. doing great. How are you? They're all good. Oh. <laughs> and that's your new single, Go To Work. Yes, it Tell is. Tell us about it. Well, it's a nice, fun, kind of tongue-in-cheek. Everyone's saying, oh, you know, are you talking to your boyfriend? Are you talking? I'm like, no, just a bit of fun. And kind of, it's my first song back. So really, I have to go back to work too. So it's just fun, fun song. So so, so is your boyfriend then the perfect boyfriend? He has, doesn't have anything naughty you can write about. <laughs> Does he get up and go to work? <laughs> he does get up. Yeah. He, mornings are, yeah, he doesn't. He's a morning person, which is kind of, you're either a morning person or a night person, and I'm more of a night person. So yeah. when we first met, he would kind of be around in the morning and want to get up and want to start talking and talking about his hopes and dreams at like eight in the morning. I was like, no, <laughs> not, not the time for hopes and dreams. More at like 10 or 11, you know, a glass of wine. And then I'm more on that then, but not, not in the morning. No, I can't help notice it, Dean. You're speaking um, with an accent there. Yeah. Yes. We've just been talking about accents. Do you ever have any issue, particularly living in America as you do, do you get people going, I can't understand what Just you're... Just there now. Yeah. yeah. I didn't quite understand <laughs> it. Because it's, because it's quite a mixture of an Irish and American accent. I think it must be. You've been there eight years now. Well, really, it's a very small town that I'm from, so it's not a typical Irish accent that people hear when they think they hear. You know, it's a Dublin yeah. accent yeah. or, you know, a Belfast accent. It's way more familiar, whereas my, you know, where I'm from, it's a smaller town, and there's really not a lot of... People, you know, around well, talking really with my American accent. In there, yeah. Yeah. It's fine, yeah. 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 Well, I only have to speak to an American for five minutes, and I'm starting getting the twang. And you've been there, there eight years. Is it? Do you love it out there? I love it. I do. It's a beautiful part of the world. LA has lovely palm trees and love. But I'm really, really happy to be back home. To be back in. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was raised in Derry in Northern Ireland, so we weren't used to palm trees and it being... And sunshine. You know, 29 <laughs> degrees every single day. Mm -hmm. So as, as great as what that is, you kind of feel a bit guilty when you're not out running the beach we love by the beach. And you know, if you're not, you know, exercising and surfing or doing something... It's exhausting. You know, it's exhausting. <laughs> you want to just sit in the house, put the TV on, close the blinds, put the fire on and relax. So after a while, we were kind of getting, especially me and my, my mom, I moved over there with my parents, mom, dad, two oh, sisters, nice. my older sister's kids oh. moved well, they over there. Moved they there. all moved over. Oh, I had this crazy idea that we had... My parents were almost 50 at the time. And I thought, what if we all just moved to LA? Mm -hmm. Let's just try nice. that. Let's just open up a restaurant. So we've just seen um, the clips there of, of Girls Aloud. When you look at that now, do you does it almost feel like it happened to somebody else? Do you, no. do you sort of prefer being solo or do you miss those days? Well, it definitely feels, and especially in those days too, that's when I had first moved over to the States as well, kind of around, not around that time, yeah. but a couple of years after that. Um, and it was just something, you're so busy, you're so, you're doing so much work and we were, you know, I think it was about four singles a year and an album and a tour that we done, so we were constantly doing yeah. promo. So it was really good to have, go to the States to go and have something completely different yeah. and I had moved away from mm. my family when I was so young. Yeah. So I was like, let's all move to LA, it's, let's be together. I've been in a, in a girl band as well. It can be very competitive. Have you been in a band before? Way. No, well, oh. I, I, if I'm honest, I knew it wouldn't have been right for me because I was very shy and when I was going through like the musical, you know, musical arts and things like that, I seen how competitive and, and bitchy it can be. I think it's quite a hard thing, yeah. But mm. do you feel... I'm interested in that. Do you feel that as a, all women, there's a greater pressure? There is that thing where people go, oh, is it really bitchy? Yeah. In the way that they don't talk about mm. boy bands. Mm. Yeah. But it is well documented that you were about to go on stage and you were told that the band was splitting and you hadn't been involved in that decision. That is weird. Well, definitely when you're as part of a group, and I think boy bands fall under exactly the same thing, which is terrible. Girls will get the bad reputation. Boys are just as bad. Yeah. But boys will want to, you know, they'll want to, like, fight it out and, let, you know, wrestle or whatever boys do. <laughs> um, so you didn't ever fight? You oh, my God, no way! No <laughs> way! That would be terrible. I wouldn't have lasted one minute if that was, because that's definitely not 
in my personality, but it's, you know, and you're so busy yeah. and you're so young. Mm -hmm. So it's so difficult to not, you know, be overwhelmed by yeah. just the sheer amount of stuff that you're mm -hmm. doing. And then because everything was going so well, our first song was number one for a month. Wow. Which is yeah. like, what? Mm -hmm. Another week? So kind of that always outweighed the fact that, and the music I loved, and the shows that we'd done were so great that yeah. it was just kind of like, oh, let's do another one, let's do yeah. it, that everything else kind of wasn't and, that important. And with this new single, have any of the girls been in touch? I Wish spoke it to, Sarah was on this show. Yeah. Um, and I was, and she had messaged me. She was like, "Let's do something afterwards." But I had to shoot the video for this song the next day. So I was like, "Sarah, absolutely no way, because I know what'll happen. We'll go out. It'll start at lunchtime, <laughs> and we'll say it's a good idea to get a glass of wine, and then it'll be two o'clock in the morning, and I'll have to get up and shoot the video and be like falling apart." Oh. So I haven't seen her, but yeah, she was Did really excited. Did you give her any advice about on it. the Big Brother? Were you supporting her <laughs> going in? Well, I was, but it's, you know, when it's a friend and, and, and because I love watching those shows, you know that they can go either really well One way or the other, or yeah. Well. Yes. I saw you in the show. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what I really liked about when you were on there? Because Perez Hilton was on there. Yeah, and I is. thought he was being treated really unfairly. Uh, you didn't see that. Don't enough about me. That's it. That's it. So there are those words, yes. I haven't watched it yet. Yes. I just hope that that you know, doesn't happen to yeah. her. But there's been, she I just want to... Uh, won the show. Uh, she won it. There have been recent comments by a very naughty man in television um, that maybe there's still a bit of friction between you and Cheryl. If you were ever in a room together now, what, or you, you know, bumped into each other, what, would, what do you think would... What would you do? Say hello, hello, <laughs> what are you doing? Because you're well, getting on, she has a young baby. Yeah. I have a daughter, so I know what it's like when they're when they're that age. You, um, cause you were the real singer, weren't you, in the band? Yeah. <gasps> Does but that cause, no. are we not allowed to say that? I would that? never say such a thing. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> but,